in the heart of Delta State, in the village of Erumo Kumari, there lived the princess named Esia Kene. She was known throughout the village for her beauty and grace, but she harbored the secrets that plagued her every waking moment. Esia Kene was a kleptomaniac. From a young age, she felt an inexplicable urge to take things that didn't belong to her. She started with small trinkets and bubbles. As she grew older, her compulsion intensified. Despite the love and care of her parents, King Omovigu and Queen Nivier, this young Guinness affliction remained a secret from the rest of the world. One fateful day, the village prepared for the grand festival of Iruri. Celebrating the end of the harvest season, the palace was bustling with preparations, and this young Guinness found herself in the midst of the excitement. As she wandered through the marketplace, her eyes darted towards a dazzling necklace displayed at the merchant's store. The urge surged within her. Before she could stop herself, she slipped the necklace into a satel. Unknown to her, the merchant had noticed the theft and probably reported it to the palace guards. As the festival continued, Miss Agnes' guilt gnawed at her, but she could not bring herself to return the necklace. That evening, during the grand feast, the palace doors burst open. The merchant, flanked by guards, stormed into the hall. Your Highness, I demand justice. My most precious necklace has been stolen, and I have reason to believe it is within these walls. King Amovigo, bewildered and angered, ordered a search of the palace as the prince approached Isiogene. Her heart pounded in her chest. They rummaged through her belongings and found the stolen necklace. The hall fell silent and all eyes turned to the princess. Hey, Sogene, my daughter, how could you bring such shame upon us? The king roared, his voice trembling with a mix of fury and sorrow. Tears streamed down Sogene's face as she fell to her knees. Father, I don't know why I did it. I cannot control myself, she confessed, her voice barely above a whisper. The queen, seeing her daughter's torment, approached her and placed a hand on her shoulder. Who we'll gets you the help you need, Esio Gene? You must face the consequences of your actions. The king, his anger subsidizing, decreed that Esio Gene would walk alongside the merchant to repay her debts and learn the value of honesty. Under the watchful eye of the merchant, Esio Gene spent her days helping in the market, learning humility and the importance of trust. Words of the princess's redemption spread throughout the village, and slowly the villagers began to forgive her. Miss Hagenes' struggle with kleptomania was far from over, but with the support of her family and the village, she began to heal. She attended counseling sections and participated in community activities, gradually rebuilding her reputation. In time, Miss Hagenes' story became one of hope and resilience. She became an advocate for mental health and wellness, helping others understand that even those who seem perfect and struggle with unseen battles. The princess's journey was a testament to the power of compassion and the possibility of redemption even for those with the darkest secrets. The End